I'll admit, I am learning to hate the early game with the poison team. There's no access to Nito, we just we just don't have many good moves we can throw around like Thrash or anything. Like, we're basically constantly finding ourselves at the mercy of our opponents, you know, and hope they use like weak or stupid moves. Like, even if you can argue Crychop isn't that powerful, it's got an almost guaranteed critical hit chance this generation, so... It's way more devastating than you would think it would be. Like, it's gonna probably crit here, yeah, and take off, like, 20 hit points. Actually, it almost did 60, right? No, 30. Jeez. Another critical hit. Well, that might let me get the kill here. Look at us a level up. Uh, unfortunately, that's not enough, in my opinion. Like, if I could throw around Twin Needle now, that'd be fine, but. Oh, Poisonous Thing is disabled? No one cares. As soon as he uses Confusion, we're dead. I mean, come on. Yep, finally. Ugh, we actually land some of those other critical some of those other fury attacks we've been fine. Okay, let the bat die, I guess. Well, it's something, but it's not gonna matter much. Come on, just kill me. Like seriously, I'm just begging for death here. Trying to weaken it as much as possible before I drop out, you know, Ivy Sword. Because I already know Fine Whip's not gonna do much. Well, disable tackle, that's fine. Let's finish it off with another Vine Whip. <sighs> well, that's cool. That's not really returning your TM though, it's giving it to me. But whatever. Yeah, let's teach it to Choker. That way we know we can finally have a decent move on one of our Pokemon. Fortunately, it's uh, one of our mods that's the least amount of levels put onto it, so it's completely useless at this point in the game right now. Like, having Dig will make leveling it up easier, though. After all, it means I'll have a move with a base power of 100. <laughs> Problem is, I still don't know where I can really go to farm a lot of kills for it. Ugh. I'm still gonna wish the Verse Seeker was a thing this game. Alright, let's head south. I guess I could technically take advantage of the Oshes with the dig access. But for now, let's just, you know, make our way to Vermilion City. I can worry about trying to farm levels later. Come on, let's go. Got it. Ugh. After all, who doesn't want a free full restore? They're very expensive, after all. Well. Yeah, the tall grass. Sadly, he's not a very good target to farm against. And I know this is a waste, because I only need to earn a thousand experience points. But screw it. I, I want to have Twin Needle access now, not later. Focus energy. It's just, just like, toss it. Toss it now. Like, it literally does nothing for us. I don't want to keep it. Like, if it actually raised our critical hit chance, I, I could see the value of it combined with Fury Attack. But since it actually just lowers it instead, uh, we're 
much better off just getting rid of it. Plus, this lets me run a much better bug move. That way, Killer can actually, you know, get stuff done. Oof. And yes, I realize this is only, like, effectively what? Like, 74, uh, powers it hits twice, but... You know, that's still better than Poison Sting or Fury Attack. It'll allow Killer to, you know, just take care of Pokemon much faster. Plus, it might give me a way to somewhat deal with the Butterfree on this route if I actually walk in that guy's line of sight. Okay. Let's, uh, switch out, uh, for Sore. Because this guy runs a Squirtle, so, uh, we might as well take advantage of that. And just fine whip it, because I don't need any more levels for Killer for free at the moment. Well, they wouldn't be for free, I don't need to earn levels to learn my next move. And there's no way I think Choker's gonna take down the Squirrel, even with access to Dig. Well, finish it off. And now I'll get, you know, rid of one guy. Okay, let's see. Eh, probably should put more levels on Killer. Or try to. After all, I really want to keep using Beedrill the entire game, so it's gonna need a lot of levels fed into it. I probably should switch Twin Needle up to its top attack. Because that's gonna be our go to move from now on, basically. Um, yeah. Let's see what you got, Choker. Though I'm guessing, uh... Even if we get a dig off, it's not gonna be a one-hit kill on this thing. Yep. Figured. But it didn't paralyze us, so we definitely are gonna get the kill on it. Oh, that's good. Like, I can work with that. Don't we all? Whew, can dodge the Butterfree guy that way. Well, you want to play, huh? I kind of would prefer not to at the moment. Well... Let's, uh, let Killer do his thing, I suppose. Problem is, he'll definitely resist, uh, Twin Needle, but maybe get Poison off. Nope, no luck on that front. Okay, Fury Attack, then. Ugh. Twin Needle actually can ironically poison still types in Generation 2, just because they forgot it has a poisoning effect. Sad part is I don't have a better Pokemon really to use against these Pidgeys. Okay, let's keep up the the damage here. Poison Sting, I guess. Well, I finished that off. Yes, another Pidgey. Gosh darn it. Come on, Sora, I need you to do something. Like, tackle. Oh, I'm still looking forward to picking up Body Slam at this point. Just so we have a better move. Oof. Like, come on, just a bit more. First thing we gotta deal with the next guy. Oof. But I think he doesn't run flying types. Or does he? Ugh. If he does, this fight's gonna be much more annoying. Like, I would rather not deal with any more birds right now. 
Oh, gosh darn it. Fury attack. Well, we got lucky crit, so we might actually drop Sparrow for it. It does anything. Gosh darn it. They just couldn't have given me, you know, a three or four hit, critical hit on it, could they? Well. Well, we got the crit. But will we get enough blows with it to do anything? No, of course not. Ugh. And it's gonna probably outspeed Sword on my luck. Nope, well, let's find Whip and hope that finishes it off. Okay. Yeah, you didn't start it, but I finished it. And yeah, I know, he was obviously talking BS, because he did start it. But... Like, I was just walking a couple few spaces away from him, he's just like, well, let's battle. Like, I saw you, we got a fight, and just like, like, no, I don't want to. And he's like, you do want to. I'm like, ah oh, man, he's trying to reverse psychology on me like he's Bugs Bunny. I don't want your stupid old rod, man. Because it's so useless. Okay. Let's see. Okay. There should be someone that's willing to trade me here, right? Come on. Yes. We're gonna make this trade because uh, Farfetch can use Fly and Cut. So, it's actually quite useful on our team as an HM slip. Because it covers two of the TMs we actually want to use. And that way I don't have to put them on, you know, um, a better Pokemon. Though I'll admit this does take longer than I thought it would. To complete the trade, but that's fine. Well, at least you can make this trade in, uh, red and blue. And yellow, if you want a Farfetch, you gotta catch it in the wild. It's like a really rare encounter. Yes, yes, I'm sure you have. Can you just please give me the voucher so I can get a bike? Yes, yeah, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I don't want to always think about after he says ravishing, man. Just, ugh. Oh, well, at least he's not flying around on a tiny Pidgey. I guess there's that. Well, I'll do it for this episode. Next time, I guess we'll uh, board the SSN and try and deal with the rival. And try and pick up some useful TMs along the way. Until then, see ya.